so guys welcome back to my channel let's back security and in today's video uh, i'm going to show another room of uh, try hack me which is uh, http in retail in the previous video i showed the web fundamentals which was more or less about uh, the same request quotes and uh, error methods in http so after this room uh, i'm going to make videos on uh, advent of cyber 3 which is ongoing you can just watch the videos or you can go for the official walk through if uh, you have any issues so without any delay let's just get started so at this room you can join it um mid this room is recommended if you are solving admin of cyber 3 as the task to ask question from the http and it is recommended to know about these so here we have like what is http and what is https so i guess you have already heard about if we just see here in try hack me it is https that means the data sent to the server to of uh, try hack me it is getting encrypted so if someone else grabs the packet in between using uh, you know man in the middle attack they won't be able to see what i am searching for yes they will know the ip of the target place or the victim but they can't read the data packets uh, captured whether as uh, in case of http it can be you know read uh, or seen what are the details uh, transferred over the web any website can copy or you know um uh, look like as the normal web website if it is http encrypted but in case of https it can't be copied so here we have uh, questions in task 1 as what does http stand for so that's a hypertext transfer protocol i will just copy it and paste it here so i'm asking what does s in the http stand for that that is for secure now on the mock web page on the right there is an issue once you have found out click on it what is the challenge flag so here we have a view side just click on the button and it will load a you know something like attack box but on the static page of try hack me itself so it says we need to find that issue so the issue here if we just compare the original website of try hack me it is http encrypted but here it is only http so if we just click on the lock here we have a flag let's just copy it now we have request and responses so if you have seen the previous video you, you should have seen uh, what are the different types of request and what are the responses we get from the web server here we can see the http or https uh, is named as scheme now we have the user password at uh, host and domain path with fragments you can just understand it it's pretty easy so i will just move down to the i guess we could just get to the questions and the, these are pretty well self explanatory so it's saying what http protocol is being used in the above example so it's asking in uh, this case so as you can see it is using http 1.1 and 200 is a uh, you know re response of code from server that uh, the the face search is okay and now it's asking what response header tells the browser how much data to accept or uh, sorry expect so in that case it's a content length we are getting 98 words or uh, i guess characters from the web server so that's the thing here let's just submit it So now in the HTTP methods, we have a request that is get, post, put, and delete. I talked about this earlier also. So in the get request, we send something, or we send a request to the server that we need us or something from that side to our end or in the browser. For the post request, we send data from our browser side to the server side to be stored. and put request is uh, used to update information like if i have a uh, account at try hack me named as uh, you can say let's back security and i want to change it as uh, hey there so i will make a put request 
means i won't be making a put request the field where i will update my name will make a put request and uh, update it in the delete request if i just uh, go to the delete account section in this settings and do that so that will be a delete request and it will delete the records from the web server so here we have what would we or what method would be used to create a new user account so for that we are going to post the credentials to, to the web server uh, it's asking what method would be used to update your email address so this was also a nice example that will be a put request and uh, the third one is what method would be used to remove a picture you have uploaded to your account so that will be a delete request and uh, what method would be used to view a news article so for that we will use get now we have a http status code here we will just close the site using the, this uh, exit speed b button here and let's just go down and click on view site it will take some time so it is loaded successfully so it says about 403 error that is forbidden 404 that is not found and 503 that is service unavailable so you can read, read about the response codes here response code from 100 to 199 other information response 200 to 299 is about success 300 to 399 is about redirection and furthermore like client errors and server errors the main are these in uh, with a bug bounty point of view if you make a successful re redirect that that is 302 we found the bug in the system on the web app and you can report it um, it's just pretty web self-explanatory you can just have a look by yourself so now we have what response code might you receive if you created a new user or blog post article so when we create a new and it, it is created successfully we will get a, a resource has been created so that will be a 201 now for what response code might you receive if you try to access a page that doesn't exist so that will be a not found that is page not found that is 404 now what response code might you receive if the web server cannot access its database and the application crashes so that in case it will be a service unavailable here and uh, what response code might you receive if you try to edit your profile without login in first so that will be forbidden i guess so it sorry not forbidden but not authorized as we are not logged in our username and password so that will be 401 that was it for the tax phone now let's proceed with the tax 5 here we have headers so th this is also a you know main topic or you can say main subject uh, with a bug bounty point of view if you are able to customize the header uh, named as a post uh, it may be treated as a, you know, a bug in the web app so here we have common request headers that are like uh, host, user agent, content net and accept encoding. These are pretty self-explanatory if you can just have a look. We have a cookie also that means uh, the cookie stored in our browser is sent over the web to the web application to tell that we already logged in this uh, site earlier also or we are new if the cookie is not stored in our browser. Now in the response header we have a set cookie this is sent by the web server to our browser to store something in which we click like a many login to a hacking we have a got it here on the right corner we have a catch control we have a content tab and content encoding that tells us what encoding is being used so now the question is what header tells the web server what browser in what browser is being used in that case it will be user agent if I just go to I guess question response so it's not shown here so here as you can see it's uh, showing user agent and it's Mozilla 5.0 Firefox 87.0 so in that case the solution will be user agent now it's asking what header tells the browser what type of data is being returned 
so it's a content type now what header tells the web server which website is being requested so that's the main thing it's a post here Now for the task v6 we have cookies let's just close this and uh, we click on view site here this is just showing um, how we can open cookies in different web browsers so I will just close it for now so it's showing in the client request from this page the server responds back the client sends back the form with the name set to admin you can just have a look at it we can view our cookies using this method it says which header is used to save cookies to your computer so that was shown in the previous task that uh, is a uh, set cookie now for the Task 7 we need to make some requests to a web server using get, delete, put and post. If you have seen the web fundamentals video we used curl in that case. But here we will use the website itself. It has the facility. As you can see we have a get, post, put and delete request here. We have a option to add key and value that is parameters at the end. And we can click go to get the response from the browser. So here it says make a get request to slash room. So we'll just type room here first. So it's already get. So we'll keep on go. So here is our flag. I'll just copy and uh, paste it here. Next thing make a get request to slash blog using gear icon. Set the ID parameter to one in the URL field. So first let's change it to blog. So in this case it's asking for the very first block in the database it will be id equal to 1 let's just save it close it and click on go we have the first block here so this is basically a idor attack or uh, known as indirect insecure direct object references this is also a vulnerability in case of bug bounty now we need to make a delete request to slash user slash one we'll do a slash user slash one we need to make a delete request we'll just remove the parameter here and click on go so the user was deleted and we are provided with a successful message with our flag Now we need to make a put request to user slash 2 with the username parameter set to admin we will first set the parameter username set to be admin now just close it and we need to make a put request means we need to change or update just click on go and with this is our flag here Now in the last question we have to make a post request the username of phm and the password is uh, let me in to slash login so we'll just use login here we will make a post request and delete this type uh, username as thm and uh, password as let me in and let's click on go so we have our flag here so this was it for the http in detail room in the further videos i'm going to make a uh, advent of cyber 3 so see you in the next video till then stay safe and happy and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you